troops are supposed to be out of Afghanistan by the end of next year. That's around 60,000 troops. The military leadership is already thinking about how to keep them busy. NATO, with its heart and mind in Washington, of course, plans to sharply increase the size of its exercises in Europe in coming years. We're lucky to have Douglas McGregor, a retired U.S. Army colonel, with us today. Thank you so much for coming. Sure. So the plan for Europe for 2015, NATO has its war games with 40,000 troops uh, in Portugal and Spain. These countries, of course, will have to chip in to make it happen. That's a huge expense for their bettered economies. What's, what's the urgency? Well, whenever NATO conducts exercises of any kind, there's always a great deal of time and money invested in what I would call allied solidarity. And I know there's great concern about the, the troubled nature of the economies, particularly on the Iberian Peninsula in Portugal and Spain. I think we want to reaffirm uh, that they are close members of the alliance, that we are behind them, that we support them. And what better way to do that than to conduct an exercise By on their them ground? spend a lot of money. Well, I mean, some of this money is already budgeted. Uh, more than half the troops will probably be uh, air and naval forces. So they have to conduct a certain number of operations one way or the other. There's so many discussions on how NATO sees its future. They're so proud of what they did in Libya. It seems that they see their future in this kind of hit and run operations. But what do you think about it? Libya was not a success. We ultimately unleashed forces in that country, Sunni Islamist forces that are anti-Western, uh, anti-American, and ultimately antithetical to the interests of Libya's future social and political development. We don't know how Libya will turn out. But NATO sees it as a success. Well, that's the as an that's example the, for that future is the operations. Public message. That is the public message. In truth, there were enormous problems with the operation. How do you see the future of NATO? I think it's uh, it's very questionable. Uh, over time, it's going to be harder and harder to hold the alliance together. And so I, I don't see the, the NATO alliance holding together in its current form for another decade. Well, maybe these exercises are not such a bad idea. Maybe at least for a while, NATO will not actually bomb and invade other countries to keep itself busy. With me in Washington, Colonel Douglas McGregor, and I'm Gaynish Tekan. You're watching RT.